And at the possibility of some hotter weather across the Mid-South as we go into the next couple of days, we're just not seeing too much of anything in the way of cooler weather. Welcome to August, by the way. Today is the 1st of August, Thursday morning. And again, right now, not seeing too much of any major concerns out there where the weather is going on. But we will see the potential again for looking at maybe again some more chances for rainfall across portions of the Mid-South as we go into the next couple of days in the form of showers and thunderstorms. Again, not that much for this morning, but we could see again the potential for some more active weather coming our way as we get into the next couple of days. But for right now, things are decently quiet, so definitely some good news on that. But once again, if you have any plans for outdoors, keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on what we may be looking for coming up here in the semi-near future. Pretty warm again for today and pretty steamy into the weekend, but we may see again some possibilities of some lesser amounts of heat out out there as we go into next week and maybe depending on how things go we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit as well got any outdoor plans for today looks relatively good but we do have some showers and some thunderstorms trying to develop back to our west we'll talk about that coming up here uh, in just a little bit let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on around the area for this morning again decently quiet we've got a few clouds drifting on through mixed in with the sunshine our view from germantown looking back toward the north Northwest, you're looking over the intersection of Germantown Parkway and Poplar Pike and off toward the distance. You can just barely see the towers of Poplar and Mendenhall out that direction, but otherwise not too much to show there. Collierville, a little bit more sunshine getting on through, but again, the cloud cover is pretty prevalent out across much of the area, so definitely not seeing anything in the way of totally sunny skies for the time being. So we may see again the potential for uh, less in the way of sunshine out there. Radar from the News Channel 3 website, wreg.com slash weather. We are seeing again a few areas of showers out there. It doesn't really look like much here, but we do have a lot more activity back into southwestern Missouri, southeastern Kansas. What we have here in the Mid-South is really not all that much. We see a few sprinkles up around Paragool, Jonesboro, just north of the Truman area. Those are drifting to the southeast, so if they survive, and that's a pretty big if at this point, we'll be looking again for the possibility of maybe some showers reaching down toward Wind, Forest City, uh, east of I-55 for the most part, and back into around I-40, maybe. But right now, those are pretty light and not expected to be too much of a problem out there. Air quality in the Mid-South looking good. No problems at all for right now, but we could see a maximum today in the Mid-60 range, which is a yellow category that you see over there on the uh, other column right there showing the possibility of, again, some higher levels of pollutants stacking up in the atmosphere, but not really all that much. All right, big weather story, of course, is the tropics, and we've got a couple of storm systems out there doing a good job of chugging along and continuing again to see uh, the potential of development from some of these storms going on through. Not an immediate threat, but it is something to watch out for. The one that is just off between Cuba and the Bahamas, that one is being affected by dry, dusty air coming in from off the, uh, the Sahara Desert in Africa. So for right now, it doesn't look great, but there could be for this system to develop maybe into something stronger, uh, about a 10% chance over the next five days. Doesn't really sound like too much, so good news on that. The second one, farther out between South America and Africa. Now this one, again, looks pretty innocuous, but we do see the possibility of another development with this, including uh, the National Hurricane Center showing a 70% possibility of development once this moves out of that dry, dusty air layer. So we could be seeing something out of this, but this one looks more like it's going to be curving back up into mid-ocean, what we call a fish storm, only bothering the fish, so good news on that. Also, again, we're seeing a lot of dust out there. It's just not doing a good job. That yellow streak in between the green coming in from off of Africa, that is, again, uh, the dust layer off the Sahara. So that is keeping things relatively quiet for right now, which is really good news for us here in the Mid-South area. Got a storm system, again, that's been wobbling around the area. It's a cold front, and it's going to be sitting just south of us over the next couple of days. But 
Warm, moist air is pushing its way back into the Mid-South as that front kind of wobbles its way back into the area. We'll see some more moisture coming in from the north and some coming up from the southeast. And as that meets right over the Mid-South area as we go towards Saturday, that is where we're going to see the possibility of some more showers and maybe some thunderstorms developing. Now, right now, doesn't look like severe weather, so some good news on that. But once again, that's something that we're going to have to watch uh, very carefully, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 as we go throughout the course of the rest of the weekend upcoming on there. All right, high temperatures for today. No good news here. Everything back to where it was yesterday, maybe even a degree or two warmer with numbers back into the mid to upper 80s to around about the lower 90s and heat index numbers way up there into around the triple digits, so please use caution being outdoors. Low temperatures tonight, with all that warm, moist air inbound, it's going to be only dropping to around the lower 70s at best. And then for Friday, high temperatures, guess what? Once again, going back into around the mid to upper 80s to lower 90s again for the most part. So for the seven-day, looking like this, again, we should see some temperatures staying relatively steady. Again, no major highs or lows, no major heat waves, but on the other hand, no cooler weather either coming on through. So we could see again the potential for some pretty steamy conditions and an isolated chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. I didn't put this forecast together here, so the 10% uh, chances uh, that you see on there, ignore those. Those should be about zero. So for right now, looking again at the potential for maybe some isolated stuff this weekend, and then after that, just hot, humid, and plenty of sunshine across much of the area. Don't forget, you can get tons of weather information available at our website. That's at wreg.com slash weather. And you can keep up to date with everything that's going on in the Mid-South area uh, and beyond with just going to plain wreg.com for more details on that. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Questions, concerns, anything like that, go to this website, uh, email address, and email me. Or you can catch me again at any of these social media media sites out there. And again, giving you updated information across the Mid-South as much as possible on here. So for right now, summer continues as we go into August and not much change anytime soon. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for a quick weather update for Thursday morning. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the day.